Welcome to Tasker 101 Tutorials, Lesson 2, Creating a Profile to Automate a Task. Now in Lesson 1, we created this task, 101 Vol Night, or whatever you called it, and that is a task that sets up night settings for bedtime. So it would uh, lower our volume levels and uh, uh, turn off auto brightness and lower the screen brightness and we created a shortcut so when we go to bed at night we can just tap that shortcut and it would uh, trigger that task and change those settings so today we're going to create a profile that will trigger those trigger this task and change those settings automatically at a certain time so up here you have tasks and you have profile so if you click profile so profiles um, tasks do things, tasks do actions, profiles you could call triggers. They trigger task. So okay, we're going to create a new profile, so click the plus button and then a new profile name. Again, all of mine in these lessons will start with 101 and we'll do 101 Vol Night. You can have a profile that's named the same as uh, uh, your task, but if you're scared that might get confusing, you want to name it something different, just make sure you do name it something that's clear to you. So 101 Vol Night Level. I'm going to click the check button, and when you do that, immediately it'll bring up these options. These are things that can trigger task. Different things happening with an application, uh, different calendar events. Um, an event is actually an event on your phone. Something happens on your phone and that triggers something. A location, a state of your phone, or a time. We're going to click time. And you'll see you have two times here, a from and a to. You do have a little clock up here indicating that it is time, but it doesn't do anything. Tap that all you want to, nothing happens. And in order for an event to just trigger a single time, you just you leave both from and to selected, and then you set them both to the same time. So we're going to have night settings trigger at uh, 11 o'clock, which is the military time is 2300. So let's go to 2300. 2300 and if you wanted something to happen just to be true between a certain time and then revert back to what it was beforehand you would do a from and a to time but since we're simply having something trigger at a particular time you set these to the same time and then they will trigger at that time we're going to click the done button and it will immediately ask you what task you want to trigger with this event. Again, because the last task we created or edited was the 101 Vol Night, it automatically assumes that that might be the one. So it has a little arrow beside it to suggest maybe that is the one, and it is. So we're going to click 101 Volume Night. Now when you do that, you'll see down here, you have your... Oops, tapped it. You have your profile, you have the time, 2300, and you have the task that will be triggered, 101 Vol Night. Now you can turn this off, and if you turn this off, then obviously nothing will happen. But if you turn it on, then at 11 o'clock p.m. or 2300, then it will trigger 101 Vol Night and change your volume levels. So now that we've done that, we're going to add to this, we're going to create another task. Click the task button, uh, click the plus button, and this is going to be our morning or day volume levels. So 101 day vol. I'm going to click the checkbox and that will open up this task where I can add actions to it. So I'm going to click plus, I'm going to go to audio, I'm going to go to Ringer Volume. I'm going to raise that all the way up. I'm going to click Plus. I'm going to go to uh, Audio. 
I'm going to go to media volume, and I'm going to raise that all the way up. I'm going to go plus. I'm going to go to audio. I'm going to go to my notification volume. And I'm going to bring that all the way up. And then I'm going to go to plus. I'm going to go to display. I'm going to go to auto brightness. I am going to set auto brightness to on because I want it to be auto brightness during the day. And there we go. Now we have that set. I'm going to click done. And you see we have 101 vol night and 101 day vol. Again, protocol probably should have called this vol day, so to be consistent. But as long as it's clear and I know what it is, that's what matters most to me. Now we're going to go to our home screen, to an empty spot. There's the I for night. And we're going to long press. And depending on what uh, home screen you're using, this may look a little different, but you want to add something. I'm going to click add, and you want to add a shortcut. So I'm going to add shortcut. And then I'm going to go down to Tasker, Tasker Shortcut, and click that. And it will bring up Tasker Task, 101 Day Vol is what I want. So I'm going to choose that. It's going to bring me into the task because I need to choose an icon. So we're going to click the icon button. We'll choose a built-in icon. And we are going to choose the... Uh, Sun. Well, we were until I got a text message that interrupted me. Okay, built in icon. Let's find that sun. There's the sun. Alright, so we got the sun icon. So we're going to click done. And now we have our uh, sun right there. So when we click the eye at night, that lowers our volume settings and turns off auto brightness, lowers our brightness. Look at my volume level, as you can see, they're all lowered. And then when we click the sun in the morning, when we get up, if we press that, then it turns auto brightness on and it raises all my volume levels. Now also, right now, if I go to bed, any, regardless of whether I click this or not, at 11 p.m., I have that set to automatically trigger. So let's uh, let's create one for the sun, for the or for the sun, for the morning settings. But maybe this one's going to be a little different. We're going to go into Tasker, and this one we get up at different times every morning. So instead of basing it on a time, we want to. We want those settings to change whenever our alarm goes off. So first we're going to go to Profiles. We're going to click Plus. And I'm going to go 1, oh, 1, Morning Levels. And then it's immediately going to ask for, an app, uh, for what I want it to do. I'm going to say Event. Because I believe this is under event, and I will say there's so many options in Tasker. Sometimes you'll think something is somewhere, and then you open it and realize it's somewhere else. But uh, I think it's under event. So we'll select event, and then let's see. I think it's under system. No, it's not. Is it under phone? No, it's not. It's under date and time. It is date and time. So there we go. So event, date and time, uh, alarm clock. So we're going to select alarm clock. And we're not going to label it. The priority is normal. We're not going to do anything else to it. One thing I do want to show you uh, while we're in here is anytime you see a little question mark, if you press that, it'll give you uh, clues. So it'll explain to you, the Android alarm clock with the specified label is about to go off. Stock will prevent the system responding to the alarm in any way. It's unknown if this causes future problems. So if you give us a specific label, because you might have different alarms in your phone, then 
only the alarm with that label will trigger this. But we want this to trigger any time our alarm goes off in the morning because that means we're ready for morning settings. So we're just going to leave that blank. And then we're going to choose what we want to trigger with that. And we want to trigger the day volume. So anytime the alarm clock triggers, an alarm goes off in the morning, it will trigger our morning settings to change our morning volumes. So I want to show you that this works. So let's go to my home screen and let's go into the alarm clock app. And first, let's just see. You see right now we're on auto brightness. We're going to take that off because we're going to pretend it's night. Volume levels are up. Take those down because it's night. So I'm going to set this alarm for 2... 36, blah, 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 blah. I don't think the rest of that matters for our purposes. So I'm going to save it. And uh, when it goes off, it will uh, change those settings for the morning. Okay, so alarm went off. And that alarm should have triggered an event. As you can see, auto brightness is back on, and if we click the levels, the levels are up to where we had them set to go uh, based on morning settings. So basically we've created two ways. We've created or we've created two tasks. Uh, one that changes our settings for night and one that changes our settings for day or for morning when we wake up. And then we've created two ways for these to happen. One is automatically at 11 o'clock every night, the night levels are triggered. And in the morning, when the alarm clock goes off, the morning levels are triggered. However, if we go to bed earlier, or if we don't use our alarm, we can still trigger these automatically using the shortcuts we created to trigger these tasks. So you see how you can create tasks and then you can create profiles to trigger the task or you can trigger them manually. So that's the end of uh, Tasker 101 Lesson 2. Uh, hopefully you're starting to uh, you know, get the concept or if you've already been using Tasker for a while, maybe you already knew those concepts, but you're, uh, you know, maybe this series will just help you realize more things, come up with more ideas of things you can do with Tasker. That's the end of Lesson 2. Come back for lesson three. We'll be talking about scenes. And uh, if you like this video, please click the like button. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel uh, so you can keep up with future lessons. Also, I have uh, other playlists with Android app reviews and NFC 101 tutorials and things like that. So you can check those out as well. And please share the video with uh, anyone you know who might be interested or share the whole playlist because they'd want to start at the beginning. Uh, anyone else who wants, who you think might be interested in the Tasker app or learning more about how to use it uh, and uh, uh, put it to good use. Anyway, that's it for this lesson. Until next time.